Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan and owner and operator of In Progress Counseling. I want to invite us into an update from an adage that we've probably all heard, redundantly even, and that's fake it till you make it. One of my mentors once upon a time had said, Steph, you don't fake it till you make it, you fake it till you become it. I'm going to update it yet again, and I'm going to say we practice until we become it. We practice until we make it. When we use the verbiage fake, it, it really kind of can um, activate our fears and activate our imposter syndrome and I'm not yet ready or I'm not yet qualified. Right, that's actually why practice matters immensely because practice is the action steps that gets us towards the ideal. And so one of the ways to kind of run it out is let's say you have an ideal something, okay? You want to lift a certain amount of weight. You wanna prepare food in a particular way. You want to acquire fluency in a new language. Any little time you push towards that ideal by inducing a behavior or engaging in a behavior, you are practicing the repetitions that are needed to become or move towards that ideal. When I do the work with clients of identity formation, we are developing what is that ideal and what are the steps I need to do to get to be more congruent with what my ideal is or with who my ideal is. And the problem is when we talk about fake it till you make it, it's this white knuckle kind of um, uncomfortable process, which it can be. Change can be uncomfortable. There are times where we might feel like we're white knuckling it. But guys, if you're practicing and day after day you're showing up in the rhythms of things, you are actively becoming the ideal. You are not faking it. You are in motion towards the ideal that you want to manifest or want to become or what you're practicing uh, to, to complete or arrive at. Practice is what gets you there. And so that's the thing to kind of ponder. What are you doing today to practice what you want to become or who you want to become. It's not about faking it, it's about practicing that again and again. I recently went on a trip to Mexico and I don't know why I started a year and a half ago doing Duolingo Spanish outside of I want to be fluent in other languages, I love language, and so it's just something that I wanted to spend some kind of uh, recreational time on. So I'm at a market in Mexico and I'm having this hilarious exchange in Spanish with a man who's trying to um, invite us into an excursion that we were not interested in. And I'm just having so much joy and so much fun. And the thing is, that joy and fun was attainable and doable because 450 days ago, I started practicing Spanish. I wasn't faking anything. I showed up on lesson one, day one for the first 10 minutes. And I've done that on repeat for the last 450 some days, or maybe we're at 460, I don't even know. It doesn't actually matter because it's committed daily practice to something. The ideal is to communicate in another language and I've chosen Spanish as the language I'd like to explore. So practicing, I'm not faking, I'm practicing and I'm doing the repetitions to get me where I want to go. We have to get through kind of that, um, the inaccuracy of the language that I'm, I'm an imposer, I'm faking, imposer, imposter, that's what I wanted. Maybe we're imposing, I don't know. But we want to get through kind of the, um, the inaccurate language of I don't belong here yet because I'm not the ideal. If I'm practicing day in and day out towards something, I am a work in progress, I am moving towards my ideal, moving towards my objective, I'm engaging in active growth, we get that through practice, not through faking it. So ask yourself, what is an ideal? Financially, physically, relationally, uh, spiritually, what are the behaviors that you need to practice again and again to get you here? That's literally the work I do with my clients ad nauseum. We pick the ideal, we aim, and we pick the behaviors that orient us towards it. We do it again and again and again until we are trusting that we are on the right path, that there is a payoff to that path, and that it's part of uncovering who we really are, and it's part of uncovering the gifts that we have to contribute. Friends, practice it until you become it. If you master that, you master the process of practicing, you will reorient your life in profound and fundamental ways. I want to invite you into that today.